Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Chris. So I got a brand new microphone uh, a couple months ago. So it's, I guess it's not really brand new, but it is brand new because it's still inside the box. Uh, I got an MXL uh, 2008 and uh, you know, I'm not, I don't want to really do an unboxing. I just want to do a really quick um, video and kind of compare between my, uh, my old mic, uh, which is the um, 2018 2100 and um, uh, compare it with the MXL uh, 2008. Um, I'm not really replacing the AT2100 because I really do love this microphone. Um, uh, the big difference between the MXL and this and the AT is that uh, this is a dynamic microphone and this is a condenser microphone. Now, I'm not a really an expert on all the products for, um, for microphones and whatnot, but I just want to do a little comparison um, between the two. So I'm going to like... Uh, uh, right now, you're hearing me, obviously, on the 2100, and I'm going to go ahead and throw on the, the MXL uh, 2008, and then we're going to see, like, you know, how how it uh, how it sounds. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, I'll go ahead and open it up. Uh, you know what? Why don't I open it up on, on camera? So uh, it's not really an unboxing video, but uh, it'd be kind of cool to just, just for you guys to see what's in here. Oh, that's kind of neat. So... When I open it up, I can see that there's like a little uh, uh, plastic case in here. Now, I did get this off Master Up, by the way. Um, so I wasn't really in a hurry to get a brand new microphone because I, I wanted a condenser mic because I know that they're more sensitive. And I wanted it because uh, I do uh, some um, recordings with multiple people in, in this room. And uh, the dynamic mic doesn't seem to, uh, I, I guess, cut it, you know, like that. So. I thought maybe a condenser mic might help that. Uh, I don't want to set up multiple mics because that would be like too much work. But anyways, here's the here's the case. Let me open that up. Ooh, it's fancy. Look at that. It looks looks pro. It's like too pro for me. But yeah, it's it's really cool. It's like nickel plated. Comes with this uh, this this uh this little rag to kind of wipe it down. I use it for something else. The <laughs> the uh here's the here's the mic. It's kind of uh uh it's got a pretty good weight. By the way, all, my mics are uh, XLR only. I don't have any uh, USB mics. I go through uh, um uh, uh a Mackie Mix Mix 5 <laughs> and it has its own um uh, phantom power if you uh, know anything about mics and stuff like that. Anyways, so there's that, um, and it comes with its own like shock mount, right, right there. Yeah, um, that's kind of cool because I had to look for a shock mount for this um, AT2100. Anyways, let me throw it on and let's go ahead and compare between the two. I do have a ceiling fan on that's blowing air right onto this mic. I'm gonna turn it off for this. Actually, I'm gonna turn it off right now. Give me one second. I'll be right back. I'll edit out the whole me going over there okay so i hit the hit the stop button it's still going and uh it's slowing down slowing down it's gonna get really hot in here okay there's no breeze and um, i'm gonna go ahead and just kind of shut up and you can hear the um the at 2100 well, without any sounds except for the hum of my uh, my computer down below. All right, so let me get the um, MXL uh, 2008 on here, and then we can go and uh, see how they sound like. Give me one second. All right, guys, so I'm back, and I got the MXL uh, 2008 plugged into my, uh, my setup, and... Um, yeah, it was a big pain in the ass. Uh, I had to get it into this shock mount here. You can't really see it on the camera, but um, uh, I w I'm so dumb. I didn't realize that you could like pinch these two wire things and go ahead and um, easily slide the microphone right right into it. I was like forcing it in because uh, I didn't know that, and um, I think I actually scratched the uh, the. Yeah, I scratched the side of the um, the microphone. It looks so nice, and I scratched it up because I'm 
I'm so dumb like that. Anyway, so yeah, you can compare the difference between the two microphones. One has definitely, um, you should be hearing, I haven't heard yet, but um, you should be hearing like more of an ambient sound from, from my office. Um, you should be able to hear my computer because it's much more sensitive. That's how com uh, condenser mics are. They just pick up everything around it. And that's why I think it's perfect for when I do multi-person multi uh, commentaries because everyone will be able to, or you'll be able to hear everybody in the room, basically. So, yeah. Um, so here, let me give you just a, a moment of uh, silence so that you can hear um, the, uh, the kind of ambient noise in the room. There you go. Yeah, you should be able to hear uh, my my computer running. I can even see it on the on on the screen. Um, I can see the the waveform as I'm as I'm recording, and I see the little kind of uh, 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 the the signal for for what's I think my I think the sound from my computer. But yeah, there you have it. That's the difference between. The ATR2100, by the way, this is my other other mic. Um, I love this mic, by the way. Um, I'm not replacing this mic with uh, this mic, uh, this mic with this mic. Um, I'm just kind of getting this uh, for special purpose, like certain, uh, for certain cases. Again, for, uh, for when I do the classic game recordings. But yeah, I think that's about it. Um, you know, if you liked the video, remember to like, comment, subscribe. But until next time, guys, I will see you later. Bye. -ya.